Yeah, some days I feel unfazed Like when I'm with my friends with a cup raised hey. And on Monday, I got a gun raised Suicidal, do a dime till hump day Then I go right back at it like an automatic More drinks, more songs, more beats to rap I need a shrink, I'm gone More time keeps passing, no watch, no thoughts at all Just a hat, new era Wet my P's and those O's Need a Phillies with my orange and black to feel home From Citizens Bank back to Camden Yard Just a tale of two cities and trust we go hard Trust we go hard, yes we go hard You said we go hard, I said we go hard Rockin' my Bob Cousy, stockin' up on the loose Did the lyrics come easy, but the life is a doozy And yes, I'm choosy, and no, I won't settle But I still take pop off over that kettle Cause I'm talking bigger picture, and yes, I'm gonna hit you with the... One of the most important parts about Australia are the native animals. Animals such as kangaroos, koalas, wombats, dingoes, maggots, just to name a few. Our unique collection of native creatures sets us apart from the rest of the world. But in today's video, we'll be focusing on what is arguably the most important native species in all of Australia. And if you've read the title of this video, you'll already know that that species is the bogan. As I mentioned before, the bogan is native to Australia and shares a lot of DNA with the American redneck. But just because these two creatures share a lot of DNA doesn't mean that they're anything alike. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the different types of bogans, where to find them, and how to spot them. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start off by answering the question, what is a bogan? A bogan is a subspecies of human that can be found in every town, city, and corner of the Australian continent. Usually spotted driving a Holden Commodore with a red flannelette shirt on, wearing footy shorts, thongs and speed dealer sunglasses topped off with a dodgy mullet, the bogan is a truly unique creature. Some hobbies of the bogan include drinking, gambling and drinking. And all those hobbies that I just mentioned are entirely funded by Centrelink. So now that you sort of know what a bogan is, we're going to get into where you can find them. Bogans have many different habitats, which means that if you want to go find one, there's many different places where you can go looking. But thanks to my PhD in boganology, over the years while I've been studying this native Australian creature, I've come up with a list of places where you're most likely to find a bogan in their natural habitat. First up, we have summer gnats. It's no secret that bogans love burnouts. And if they're not smoking the glass barbecue, they're out there smoking tires. Whether it's a $200 AU Falcon with no rear brakes or a $200,000 HSV Malou, there's nothing a bogan loves more than a good burnout. So it's only natural that once a year when summer gnats is on in Canberra, Hundreds of thousands of bogans make the annual pilgrimage down to the Holy Lands to get a piece of the action. Another place just as common for bogan spotting is Bathurst. Just like summer nuts, Bathurst is held once every year and has the three things that all bogans need. Holden, sort of, Ford, and alcohol. At the time this video gets uploaded, 2023's Bathurst has came and went. And as per usual, with it came some great bogan moments. Another common location for bogan congregation is Bali. With cheap beer, cheap cigarettes, and only a 50% chance you're gonna end up with food poisoning, Bali is the ultimate destination for a bogan holiday. All a bogan needs to be happy is cheap alcohol, cheap cigarettes, cool clothes like this that they can get from the link in the description, and easy access to anything with an engine. And luckily enough for Australia's bogan population, Bali has all three readily available. And that of course means a whole lot of this. Gonna do those helmets up. Oi, brother! How are you? Hey mate, are you right to drive? Oh, no. What are you doing driving the bike? I'm blind. Now some other places you'll also spot bogans back in the homeland include the pokies, the pub, the pokies room at the pub, Dan Murphy's, the back of a divvy van, and of course, Centrelink. Okay, so now you're clued up on what a bogan is and where to find them. But there's a lot more to the bogan species than just beer and burnouts. But just like how a bogan is an offshoot of the human species, there are many different offshoots from the bogan species. So just like dogs, spiders, and hepatitis, when it comes to bogans, there are many different types. 
The first type of bogan that we're going to be getting into is the stereotypical bogan. This is the sort of bogan who wears nothing but flannelet shirts and footy shorts, lives off Centrelink and has little to no teeth. There has been many documentaries made about the stereotypical bogan. Some of the most notable ones include Howzos, Bogan Hunters and A Current Affair. The easiest place to find a stereotypical bogan is at the front of Dan Murphy's at 8am on a Wednesday. These sort of bogans spend all their money on alcohol, child support and hooning fines. And once in a blue moon where they manage to save up 500 bucks on the side, they get straight onto Facebook Marketplace, buy a brand new second hand VT Commodore, weld the diff and add to their collection of hooning fines. The stereotypical bogan lives a simple life. As I mentioned before, as long as they have access to alcohol, cigarettes and anything that they can do a burnout in, they'll be happy as Larry. So with that being said, we'll get into our next type of bogan, and that is the cashed up bogan. Unlike the stereotypical bogan, the cashed up bogan has something called a job. Whether it's laying bricks, selling bricks, or performing open heart surgeries, cashed up bogans come in all shapes and sizes. You may be wondering what makes someone a cashed up bogan, and luckily for you, I have the answer to that question. There's only two criteria that you need to fill to be considered a cashed up bogan. The first one being having a job, and the second one being owning any turbocharged Falcon or V8 Commodore that's worth more than 25 grand. If you successfully fill these two criterias, it shows us that you worked hard, saved up your money, and still decided to buy one of the two Bogan chariots. The cashed up Bogan is a rare breed, and for the last few years of the production of the Ford Falcon and the Holden Commodore, the cashed up Bogans were the lifeline that Holden and Ford needed to buy their cars and delay the bankruptcy. You see, between 2013 and 2017, car prices were at an all time low, and that was especially true for V8 Commodores and XR6 Turbos. So naturally it only made sense for all the other Bogans to buy the cheap second hand ones for a few thousand dollars, meaning that they had more money left over for VB and Winnie Blues, meaning that the only real customers Ford and Holden had for the cars worth more than 60 grand were the few and far between cashed up Bogans who didn't already own a 79 series Land Cruiser. But those days are over. These days you'll find cashed up Bogans driving around in a brand new Ram TRX, Chevy Silverado, LTZ, or occasionally a green VF Malou. But now that we've explored both ends of the Bogan spectrum, we've got to look further into the middle. So that brings us on to the average Bogan. The average Bogan falls smack bang in the middle of the stereotypical Bogan and the cashed up Bogan. You see, everyone has a little bit of Bogan in them. For example, if you've ever actually enjoyed the taste of VB or unironically own a flannel at shirt, you fall onto the Bogan spectrum. And this is where the average Bogan comes in. The average Bogan may live a normal life with a normal job and be a somewhat respected member of society. But that doesn't mean that here and there they don't enjoy a bit of AU Falcon action, Centrelink rotations, VB annihilation and a trip to Bali every couple of years. All in all, most of the time Bogans get a bad rap. But at the end of the day, there's not one person in the whole of Australia who lives a bogan-free lifestyle. And there's no one in Australia that can admit that there's nothing more fun than having a few drinks and riding a old dirt bike around someone's backyard. And on that note, it's time to end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you'd like to hear more teachings from the prophet of your rack hunt. And as always, a shout out to everyone who made a donation to the charity of my bank account. And another special thanks to Gucci Slides for once again donating 80 smackaroos. I've already spent it all on a dodgy red flannelette shirt.